No, the defense is very good. They're very in tune on what we wanted to do execution wise on mentally. And they, you know, we had some, some good looks at times. Some of the looks were a little bit tougher, but uh, they had a good defensive plan and they executed uh, very well. They look uh, different than you saw them, than you saw them before. Uh, I mean, obviously, game one, everybody looks different <laughs> at this point in the season, so it's not a surprise. How so with them? I mean, they're younger guys, a little more experience, a little more. I mean, yeah, even Taven played well with uh, Rozier, third year, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean, listen, they, they played at a high level tonight, and they've been playing extremely well at home, you know, um, you know and on the road at times as well, so. Um, you know, they just they, they get to go win tonight. You only played one game with them, but can have, having Isaiah out of the lineup tonight, can that have any kind of a, a ripple effect or throw things off the Oh, man, like I told you, I don't know who we are or what we can be until we get IT back, you know, and consistently. You know, but we know what the, we know what the program is, so it's not like a surprise he wasn't playing tonight. We already knew that. He probably he won't play in the Indiana game after we win Minnesota. He's not playing back to backs right now. So you know, until we you know get a full dosage of, uh, of IT and get our rotations down and things of that nature, uh, you know, we were playing well. And you know Tristan comes back, we integrate him. You know we haven't played as well as of late, so we're trying to figure that out as well. So you know we we'd be fine. Though. What did you think of the game Rozier had? Oh, he's very good. Very good. He's getting more and more confidence every single night, and uh, you know, it's his third year. You know, so you know, he's picking up uh, you know, better habits, more habits. He's very quick, shooting the ball extremely well, so very aggressive too. I put it to some of the, I guess, defensive things that he's over positive, including your guys' defense on uh, Kyrie, you know, points, but he was a bit distributor mode. Uh, did you see any growth or adjustment in terms of that, that, that side of the game? Uh, well, I mean, it's two guys on the ball, and you uh, get the ball up. Basketball. LeBron, with them um, mentally, you know, you're used to it, but you guys always have the target on your back. I know it's a mid-season game, but you know, four out of five, you get a game like Vince play Sacramento. Yeah. Begin to how do you manage that? I've actually been watching Sac since that game, and I don't think Vince has played since that game. <laughs> so we definitely got to We definitely know when we come to town, we got to be ready for it. Anything. He literally, I don't, I seriously don't think he's played since that game. I think he's played like seven minutes since we played him on the 27th of December. So, yeah. so guys get up to play you? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Do you, are you ever concerned about another team in the Eastern Conference? Absolutely. Think, yeah. Always. Why not? Well, I mean, because you guys are proven that you can... No matter what the situation is. I'm always concerned about teams getting better and better. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm more concerned about us getting better and better. That's that's the bigger thing. So, uh, you know, Washington and, and obviously this team right here, um, you know, Miami's trying to get better and better. Toronto is playing exceptional basketball right now. Um, you know, the East is pretty damn good this year. And right now we're not so good, great, not so good. See what happens next, uh, but you, know, you always got to be concerned with the competition for sure. Longer way to go, but is, it, is Boston a different kind of threat this year than they were in past years? Um, I think they were a threat last year. Um, the injury affected them a lot.